Everyone, welcome. Welcome. Um, I am Jennifer Schwartz. I'm the Programming Services Manager for the Harris County Public Library. Welcome, graduates. Welcome your families and friends. Congratulations. I'm so proud to be able to share this day with you. You have overcome some monumental challenges to achieve what you have, not the least of which is that we began this program in early 2020. So essentially, up until recently, every aspect of the program has been affected by COVID. So all of you worked on this program in the middle of a worldwide pandemic. We all had to adjust our vision of what this would look like, switching to virtual meetings, shifting priorities, and overcoming life's everyday obstacles in the midst of adjusting to all these other obstacles at play. So you're all absolutely amazing. We're proud to have been a part of your journey, and we're so proud of each of you. I'd like to take a moment to recognize our esteemed guests here on the day, as who will each come up shortly to offer a few words to you. We are honored to have with us Precinct 2 Commissioner Adrian Garcia, and deeply thank him. And thank Harris County for the support of this program and for being here with us today. Thank you, Commissioner for Harris County Precinct 2 support of Clear Online High School. Our director of the Harris County Public Library, Edward Belton, is here with us today. <laughs> he believes deeply in this program and has been a great visionary in making it the success that it is. We're so happy to have Rivka Sass, Smart Horizon Strategic Partnership Director, who traveled across the country to be here with you today. HCPL's Adult Literacy Coordinator, Gaspar Guevara, is here to celebrate with you. He makes it happen every day with this program, working closely with you, your library coaches, and with the team at Smart Horizons. So I think the key to the success of the Career Online High School program is, well, first of all, it's your hard work, sacrifice, and dedication. But I think a big part of what makes the program work is teamwork. Uh, in addition to the dedicated academic coaches that Smart Horizons provides, we pair each graduate, as you know, with a team member at uh, our library locations. Those team members support the students all through the process, and I've seen firsthand how special those relationships are. So I want to thank all of our literacy coordinators. Many of them are here with us today, and they will join us on stage soon. <laughs> more words of thanks, I want to express our great gratitude to Dollar General for a grant that made it possible for us to have this lovely breakfast today. So, uh, and also thanks to the Harris County Friends of the Library for their support. I want to thank the team here at the Harris County Department of Education for this beautiful space for our celebration. Their team has been absolutely wonderful and accommodating. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Julie. I want to thank Jessica Armenta, who uh, created these lovely balloon uh, photo opportunities and stage displays for us. She does great work. Uh, thank you to Jessica. <laughs> we have community partners here today. You visited some of them already. Uh, we have partners from the University of Houston, Houston Community College Northwest, Houston Community College Consumer Arts and Sciences, Bridge Year, and Memorial Assistance Ministries. We also have uh, our HCPL resource table, and there we have information from Lone Star College. They uh, couldn't be here in person because of a conflicting event, uh, but they send their congratulations. So please take the time at, at any point to visit with them. They have some great resources for you. We really thank them for being here. Um, finally, thanks to the HCPL team that's worked so hard to plan this event. From the programming team, to the communications team, to coordinators, to our volunteers. I truly count my lucky stars every day to work with such an outstanding group of people. Uh, special thanks to Celeste Blue, our Assistant Manager for Adult Services, for all of her hard work and great care and passion to make this an outstanding day. To Nancy Hugh, John Schaefer, and Nicole Ross from our amazing communications team, our DJ today, Leif Steenson, our volunteers, Michael Godoy, Natalie Lavis, uh, and, and Alexis Hurtado, and all the others who worked on this, of course, our coordinators we will meet. Thank you to all of you. Um, um, just a few quick housekeeping points. The restrooms are out, out this door, um, just on this side, and emergency exits are located on either side of the hallway. In case of fire, please don't use the elevators, but rather the stairwells on either end. 
please feel free to help yourself to refreshments throughout and after the ceremony. After the ceremony, we should have some mingling time to visit with one another, take photos, and uh, we have some team members who would love to do some short interviews with you. Uh, Mr. Mr. John over there, Wait, well, I think he's gotten a lot of interviews already, but we'd love to uh, have more. We are uh, giving you a special gift today. Um, each graduate will receive a Chromebook. We're going to do that right after the program, outside the doors, uh, where we'll also be continuing the interviews. So, um, with that, it's uh, now my great pleasure to introduce Harris County Public Library's Executive Director. I think I echo the entire team at HCPL when I say that it is an honor to have a visionary and community-minded leader such as Edward. He thinks big when it comes to believing in the real changes we can make in the community, and he inspires his team, drives progress, and makes things happen. Uh, that has been very true for all my high school. The project has been passionate about from the start and one that will continue to grow under his leadership. Please join me in welcoming Edward. Continue on that growth path. This is very encouraging for me, and thank you for allowing 
Harris County DNC Park Attorney. And with that, I'll introduce Thank you, Edward, and Happy New Year! Man, what a way to start the new year, right? This is exciting, uh, but more than anything else, congratulations uh, to you all for your success. Uh, I went by and tried to say hello to uh, all of you earlier. And I will tell you that uh, the one thing everybody has in common is your spot is pretty, pretty big. <laughs> but the other thing, too, is that uh, I saw some of your family and uh, your children. It's important for your children to see what you have done. Uh, because, you know, I've always tried to tell my daughter, be a lifelong learner. Uh, and you are demonstrating, number one, the spirit of not giving up. The spirit of not giving up is incredible. It will keep anything from holding you back. So today, you have obviously demonstrated that you're not giving up, you're not giving in, that you are, that's right, that's right. <laughs> But you're out absolutely going forward. So again, I just want to congratulate you. But also, I just want to tell you that uh, I'm proud of the Harris County Library System with the leadership of Dr. Melvin, the partners uh, that are here, all the vendors as well. Let me just tell you uh, why this is important to me. Uh, I was just asking Dr. Melvin how much of the county taxpayers' money is invested in this particular program. And it's somewhere to the neighborhood of $130,000 is what each and every one of you represent. The scholarships that have been made available uh, to you is, uh, is divided up in, uh, in that amount. But what he also mentioned was Grad Cafe. For those of you who live in Precinct 2, uh, as uh, Dr. Melton mentioned, about half of you here today represent uh, the area that I uh, am uh, responsible for. Uh, I took a million dollars out of my budget to invest into the program that he mentioned, the grant campaign. So I want to make sure that you recognize the fact that uh, as, I, as I tell folks, you know, if not by the grace of God, there's a lot. And so, you know, when I started my public service career, I, I served 23 years with the Houston Police Department. I went on and served on Houston City Council. Then I became the sheriff of the county. And today I serve in this particular role. But when I started my career with the Houston Police Department, one of the things that my father asked me to do above everything else and he told me, you know, son, uh, don't be ashamed of who you are. Uh, be honest. But the number one thing he told me that he wanted me to work hard at was to never, ever forget where I came from. And so, irregardless of your journey, your journey is an important testimony to today. It's an important testimony to others. And so, because I have been blessed beyond comprehension, I always tell people, if you are being blessed, and today you are, and if you are, make sure that you don't keep that blessing to yourself, but share it. Encourage others about participating in a program like this. Remind others that there is no time to give up. There's just time to get at it. And so I just can't tell you just how beautiful you all look. Uh, mainly because I think I just noticed Wow. except for one. 
just noticed. I was looking at all the graduates and saying hello. I didn't, I didn't get to the gentleman, uh, but he's the only guy in the crowd. So the women are taking care of business. So congratulations to the ladies. that are here with programs like Grand Cafe, don't stop being a lifelong learner. Continue to be curious, continue to want more, stay hungry. I just got through watching Rocky again. <laughs> Hold on to the eye of the tiger. But, but really, in all seriousness, and the reason that this is important for me, because when I ask for permission to serve in this role, there are five things that keep me passionate about my work. The five things are that Precinct 2, which is the Aldine area, which is the near north side, which covers the east end of Houston, uh, Baytown, Galena Park, Deer Park, Jacinto City, uh, South Houston, Clear Lake, the Hobby Airport area, a little bit of the Heights. That's pretty too. That's a million three hundred thousand people that I'm responsible for. But in Precinct Two, unfortunately, we have amongst the lowest medium income of all the Harris County. Among uh, and in Precinct Two, I believe because we have the lowest medium income, more people rent where they live than own their own home. And in precinct two, I think because of the low medium income, we have amongst the highest number of children and families without health insurance. And because of the low uh, medium income, we also, until today, are also uh, owning the lowest educational attainment rate at the high school and post high school level. And so education is by far the biggest game changer. Now that you have received your diplomas, you can start demanding a higher income. And there's a program that I mentioned to uh, Dr. Melvin about that I want to take the opportunity to plant the seed and hope that you will become curious. But I want you to look into the Harris County Toll Road Authorities Opportunity Academy. If you're looking for another job, if you're looking for an opportunity, look to the Harris County Toll Road Authorities Opportunity Academy because it could provide the pathway to getting a job with Harris County, becoming an image reviewer, uh, 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 getting a digital certification. It does require more learning, but it also comes with some money. <laughs> so I would just encourage you uh, to look at that. But I'll close with this. Uh, you humble me. You do. Each and every one of you, you humble me. Because the challenges that each of your lives may have had, you had all the reason. No one would ever blame you if you had given up, if you had given in. The challenges, I can only imagine. I know what it what it is to live on, on government cheese. I know what it's like uh, to have gone to the grocery store with my mama and have her lay out those uh, stamps. I know what it's like not to have central heating. But my mama used to go to the laundry mats and find those uh, used up uh, plastic bottles of Clorox, fill them up with hot water, and that would keep my feet warm at night. I understand all that. 
And I understand there may have been other challenges that any one of you has possibly faced. But you humble me because you've got a spirit that kept you from giving entirely up. And for that, I say congratulations. God bless you. Keep going forward. Stay hungry. Continue to be a lifelong learner. And I promise you that today is just yet one step of an incredible journey that is still waiting for you. God bless you. Congratulations. Thank you, Commissioner, again for your support and for your inspiring words. And thank you, Edward, for your inspiring words. Um, I would now like to bring up my team member. Um, our adult literacy coordinator uh, works with this program every day on the ground. Um, he's the first person that uh, that you talk to um, when a graduate applies to the program. It comes through his desk. He works with all of the coordinators at your branches. Um, I see every day the passion uh, and dedication that he puts into it. I know he's so proud to be here with you today. Would you join me in welcoming Gaspar Guevara? Good morning. Good morning. And congratulations. I'm so happy to be here with all of you. My name is Gaspar Guevara, and I am the Adult Literacy Specialist for the Harris County Public Library. As the Adult Literacy Specialist for HCPO, I had the pleasure of working with the Adult Literacy team members of all 26 branches to support our Adult Literacy programs. Just to tell you a little bit about our Adult Literacy programs. So we do also offer Adult Basic Education, which is teaching native English-speaking individuals how to read and write. Uh, we also have ESL, which is an English language language learning program, which helps individuals that are non-native English speaking individuals how to read, write, and speak English. We also have citizenship classes. So these, this program is more to help individuals with the interview, uh, the interview and the test. And also, of course, Career Online High School, our newest pro adult literacy program. The program that you have worked so hard on and have steadily succeeded. As you know, one very special thing about the Career Online High School program is that this is not a GED. This program provides the opportunity to earn a high school diploma and a career certificate through an accredited high school. So please tell your friends and family when they want to take that next step to please come to HCPO. There's plenty of vendors of, of material at, the, at our table. So we first piloted Career Online High School in 2020 with 15 students at four library locations. COHS now offers it, is offered at all 26 branches. We currently have 50 active students and 31 graduates, and it continues to grow every day. I want to take a moment to honor the work of our branch coordinators. The work that they've done, they have been so important throughout the whole process, beginning from the initial interview to offering support and resources at the library, devices such as PyTalks and Chromebooks to use for your schoolwork, and also internet access at the library and hotspots you can take home. They are all very proud of their graduates. I want to thank the coordinators at all 26 locations. The coordinators who are here today will join us shortly, but I would like them to stand and be recognized for a moment. So coordinators, I invite you to stand up, please. Thank you. So I have to admit, I haven't had as much contact with the graduates as the literacy coordinators have, but I'd like to say that I was the first person that you reached out to when you applied. So I did respond to each and every email, guided you along the way from the prerequisite to the interview, the same supportive emails you were receiving from your literacy coordinator, tracking your progress and motivating you along the way, I was re receiving the very same messages from your coordinators. And how, and how close you were to graduating, along with your coordinators also, I tracked your progression and was pulling for you to complete this program. I had the privilege to attend a few of the great ceremonies you had at the branches that were set up by the literacy coordinators. 
now that we have the opportunity to come together in person, we are so pleased to be able to bring you all together at once to celebrate your outstanding achievement. In addition to this ceremony, we've invited many organizations to continue to support our graduates. It is our mission to continue to support you and provide resources to empower you to be successful and achieve your goals. Those organizations, along with HCPL, have resources and representatives available to help graduates on any future endeavors, whether it be continuing your education, any workforce training, or any employment opportunities. So please be sure to visit with them today. Now that I've talked about the library side of this program, I want to tell you that Smart Horizons, our wonderful partner that we work with to provide COHS, have been so wonderful and supportive. Their academic coaches that we work with to prove, their academic coaches that have worked with you every step of the way, and I know that they are so proud of you today. Please join me in welcoming Rivka Sass, who traveled to be here today with us. Rivka was formerly the library director at Sacramento Public Library, where she transformed the California's fourth largest library district into an award-winning institution. The wealth of experience that she brings is such an asset to our partnership. So with that, it is my honor to introduce to you the Director of Strategic Library Partnerships and Smart Horizons Career Online Education, <coughs> Rivka Sass. Good morning, everybody. So, wealth of experience. Do you know what that means? It means I'm old. That's all. <laughs> but I'm so excited to be here. And please don't be bored by the fact that I'm going to say congratulations, graduates. I am so proud of you all. Sacramento Public Library. So, say a little prayer for Sacramento right now. We're kind of underwater, and I mean that literally. Um, I'm calling every day. I've been in Idaho for the last couple of weeks with family, and um, I, I'm texting every day saying, is the house still dry? So say a little prayer for us. You know, I joined Smart Horizons a year ago after leaving a 40-year career as a librarian. And one of the reasons I joined is that we began the program in 2014. And and I believe so much in this program. And today, I want to tell you that the light coming out of this room from where you all are is blinding me. It's beautiful. I see light in each and every one of them, one of you because you did something that's really hard. You made the effort to walk into a library, hooray for you, well, if it was virtual because it was COVID, but you made that effort to say, I want to make a change in my life. And you did it. And I, I, I am forever grateful to have the opportunity to come to places like Harris County Public Library and see the, the result of that. And that's what you all represent for me. This is a really important day. It's a day you've all been waiting for. Some of you, how many of you were out of school for at least 20 years before you came back to high school? I just want to see that. Yay. That's the big step. How many of you thought you might give up because it started being a little hard? When you start when you came back and you started a career online high school. It's okay, be honest. How many how many of you had academic coaches who kicked your butts and told you you need to keep doing this? I bet all of you. We can't say enough about the people who surround you and want to make you want to help you get there. And how many of you had friends or family members who said you can do this? All of you. And I know there's one person out there who actually got a new middle name, and that's Lynette. I can do it, Martin. Her <laughs> husband told me she she it was tough, and she did it. So good for you. Your academic coach has used words like determination, enthusiasm, grace, setting an example, 
I read the exit surveys from so many students, and so many of you say, I did this because I wanted to set an example for my family, for my children, for my siblings. So thank you for setting that example, and thank you for getting all the way to this finish line. But more importantly, thank you for thinking about what the next finish line is. How many of you are going on to a technical program or another school. Raise your hands. I want to see. I want to see college. Uh, all of those things, right? All of you are doing that. And I want to also say that you proved it's not too late. It's not too late to accomplish a goal. You set those examples for your family. You did not do this for yourselves alone. You did it for your families. You committed to not settling. You committed to doing something new. And you know now you're at that space where the diploma is that door to opportunity. It's, it's the entry path. You finished one path, and now you're moving to another. I met Regina this morning, your first graduate. And I want to tell you, this woman should be a newscaster. I interviewed her for 30 seconds, and it's like, she didn't miss a beat. It's amazing. And I saw, the, I saw the impact. I talked to her husband. I saw the impact that what she's done has had on her family. And that makes my day. It makes my week. It makes my year. So thank you. I know that I'm looking at people who want to go on and get degrees in computer science. We've got a nurse, become a nurse midwife back in the, in the back of the room. We've got other people who are moving on to new careers. That's because you took that chance, you made that commitment. So I also want to say a thank you to all of you for trusting in your public library. The fact that you did this through your public library speaks, no pun intended, volumes about where, where libraries need to be and how libraries can help each and every one of you, as, as Commissioner Garcia said, on that path of lifelong learning. Keep, keep the library in mind. If you win the lottery, promise that you'll support career online high school. All right. It's really important because libraries are an essential part of every community in this country. And the Harris County Public Library believed in this program enough and believed in all of you enough to make it happen. And as a lifelong librarian, I cannot be more grateful for that. Your community gave you this opportunity and you get to give back to your community because you succeeded. I love that the library's mission, mission statement says it provides information and resources to enrich lives and to strengthen communities through innovative services within and beyond our walls. That is exactly what you all benefited from. And so I'm going to ask you, raise your hand and make a little pledge to me. You've already been asked to do this. If you've got a friend or a family member, who needs to think about going back to school, tell them about Career Online High School. Encourage them to come to the Harris County Public Library and make that first step. You, you've seen, that's where the stand up. You've seen living proof. Here's the guy who's going to respond to the email right there. He's got a nice smile on his face, right? Make that promise. Talk about the program. Talk about what it did for you. And please be successful, stay in touch with us, and let us know where you've gone. I fully expect to have Regina be on television and have her own TV program. Ooh. I really think that that is a possibility. But I know each and every one of you will be incredibly successful at what you do because you did something really hard, you faced setbacks, you moved forward, you know, life is like a dance, and that dance is the cha-cha. Two steps forward, one step back. Just remember that. Thank you so much, and congratulations. To all.
so much, Rivka. We're so lucky to have you on the Smart Horizons team. The experience you bring is just awesome and wonderful. Thank you for traveling to be here with us. Um, we have a very special moment now. We have our student speaker who you just heard a little bit about, actually. Um, I'd like to introduce you to our student speaker, Regina Miles. Regina is a Houston native and a mother. I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. She recently graduated with her associate's degree in communications from Lone Star College after graduating from Career Online High School. Uh, Regina worked closely with her coordinator, Jerry Marquez, at our Barbara Bush branch library. And Jerry told me of how very impressed she was with how dedicated and structured Regina was in her COH studies. She had very clear goals, which included getting her associate's degree and then uh, furthering her education from there, all while working on writing a book about her life experiences. She had set a goal to finish the program in six months or less and finished in two, two and a half months, which is an incredible someone that I love and admire more than anything you guys. I also want to uh, recognize my son. He's five years old. He was diagnosed with autism. And he has been the light of my life. He's actually been my wine. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's chance because I was a high school dropout that there was a 75 percent chance that he would be one too and that shocked me. And I found out everything I could what would it take for me to get in school and I started out at ACC by just getting my GD. Uh, the instructor there that did the GD program she said something about you you don't want a GD. You want something more. And she said, I think you need to look into this program. And she directed me to you guys. And she was right. I wanted to walk across that stage. And I feel like because I had been in the streets since age 13, school wasn't important to me. And I felt like I had been robbed of the opportunity to either survive or get an education. And so I made the decision to drop out. I didn't have the support that many of you guys have today. I'm looking out here, I'm seeing your families. I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. They are my family. My son is my wife. And I needed to not only do this for myself, but I needed to do it for him, to give him an opportunity. And I tell him every day, mama loves you. And you can do anything. And that's what I wanted to share. of being a high school dropout. If anyone were to ask me uh, what year I finished school, I would always hesitate or change the subject. When I approached the team at Career Online High School, they were honest. They informed me that the curriculum would be challenging. But I was determined, serious, and most of all, I was motivated. My instructor at ACC, she told me, she said, I figured it out. She called me after everything and she said, Gina, I know why you do what you do. She said, you have this little thing called grit. And she said, no matter what happens in your life, you're going to overcome. And me being a researcher, I actually went and looked it up. What is grit? 
Grit is a strong determination. It's a willpower, it's a tenacity to grow, evolve, and thrive no matter what life throws at you. They told me that I was gonna be nothing but a prostitute on the street like my mom. And guess what? I believed them. Watch the words that people speak over your life. More importantly, watch the words that you speak over your own life. Because I looked at them and I would tell them, no, I'm not. I'm gonna be something great. You watch me, and I did, and I am, and I'm doing it. take 18 months. I inform them, I'll give you three. <laughs> she said, that's impossible. No one has ever done that. I began the, pro the program. I have since then finished. I did it in two and a half months. I enrolled in high school and uh, 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 I enrolled in, uh, where did I go, baby? Long Star College. <laughs> I had to remember because I promised ACC I was coming back. <laughs> I ended up choosing Long Star College. I did the program for my associate's degree in communication. It's something that I love. I love to talk to people. I love to communicate. And I knew that it was a reason why I waited so long. It wasn't that I didn't like school or that school wasn't important. I needed to understand why I was doing it. That's what's going to keep the students there. You have to start out with asking them why. Because if you don't have a why, as soon as it gets hard, as soon as they tell you that your grades are not good, as soon as the internet goes down, as soon as your job calls you and tells you they need more time for overtime, it doesn't matter. You're going to find a reason and you're going to give up. But when your why is strong enough, when this gives you that reason for getting up in the morning, you're going to set a rule, you're going to set a goal, and you're going to set a time frame, and you're going to finish it. And no matter what, anything, any option that comes at you, you will continue, and you will finish it. <laughs> Lastly, after finishing my uh, associate degree, I thought I was done. I told them, school is, is I, I feel like I've done what I wanted to do. The communications was enough. People kept telling me, you're going to continue. You're going to continue. I said, no, I think I'm done. I'm pretty much done. Well, I have since then got accepted at San Diego State University. <laughs>
Wow. Thank you, Regina. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that awesome story. Uh, I, I wasn't planning on saying this, but we need you to come to our libraries and, 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 and do some programs for us. Right. You can really inspire some people, so please come and see me. <laughs> Graduates, when you come up, we're first going to call your coordinators up. You're going to come up on this side of the stage to your right, and uh, your coordinators, okay. yeah, yes, this side of the stage, your coordinators are going to uh, give you your diploma. Maybe you're going to pose for some pictures, shake some hands, and then uh, make your way off the stage. So um, we're beginning with um, the All Dean branch, and um, to join us. Uh, we're actually beginning with the Aldi branch, the Baldwin Venture branch, the Barbara Bush branch, and the Evelyn Meter branch libraries. So uh, may I please have Jenny Tram and Carl Smith for the Aldi branch, Regina Phillips from the Baldwin Venture branch, Jerry Marquez for the Barbara Bush branch library, and Linda Stevens, our amazing division director of programs, partnerships, and outreach. My awesome boss is representing today for the Evelyn Meter branch library. So when I call your name, come on up. You can come right up from your seat, but uh, there's a list of the order of graduates at your table, so just be ready to come up after the, the graduate that's right before you. So beginning with the Aldean branch, we have three graduates who work closely with Jenny and Carl at their library branch. First up, we have Kiara Crowden. Please join us. Kiara graduated in April of 2022 with Office Management Program. Congratulations, Kiara. Congratulations. Next up, we welcome Thelma Molina. Yes. Thelma graduated in July of 2021 with the Child Care and Education Track. Congratulations, Thelma. So we're going to um, move on to the Baldwin Venture Branch Library, um, working with Regina Phillips. Can we have uh, Regina's already on the stage? We have two graduates today. First, we're welcoming Patricia Bustamante. Patricia. Patricia graduated in April of 2022 with the Home Care Professional Track. Congratulations, Patricia. September of 2022. The Barbara Bush Branch Library has five graduates today. These graduates work with Jerry Marquez and they are first up, Carnesha Alexander. Come on down. Carnesha graduated with the office management plan in June of 2022. Congratulations. Duncan. Brandon is a 
graduate of the Homeland Security track. He graduated with that program in July 2021. Hooray, Brandon! So may I have Sylvia Romo for Galena Park. And Celeste Blue will be representing Parker Williams, West University, and Stratford. And Clara Lopez for South Houston. I'm not sure if Clara had a student. I don't know if she made it, but uh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna recognize her later, but Clara's student uh, hasn't arrived yet. So um, getting started, first up for the Lena Park Branch Library, we have two students that worked with Sylvia. Lakita Ellis, come on down. <laughs> Lakita graduated in March 2022 with a general career preparation track. Lakita, come on here. We can move, we'll move, move along. Um, next, we welcome Shatrina Stevens. Shatrina. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, moving on to High Meadows. High Meadows has three graduates today. First up, we have Lynette Martin. <laughs> Lynette graduated in November of 2022 with a home care professional program. going to call our graduates from the KD Mod Marks and Northwest Branch Libraries. Uh, and Linda Stevens is, is, is acting as the coordinator for those libraries today. Starting out with the Katy Branch Library, we have Echo Eugene. <laughs> Echo completed the office management program in October of 2021. Congratulations.
the Stratford Branch Library, we have Rosario Rose. Thank <laughs> you. 
As you can see, we're all smiles here. Thank you again so much from Jennifer Schwartz and Ms. Les Liu from our programming department at Harris County Public Library. We have lots and lots more in store. Visit your public library for more. Thank Yay. you.